Today we are going back to look at what is regarded as the oldest found shipwreck in history, the Ulibarren Shipwreck. Dating back to the 14th century BCE, the Ulibarren Shipwreck was discovered by chance in 1982 off the coast of Turkey in the Mediterranean Sea. Most agree that the Ulibarren was a merchant ship, as it was carrying a large amount of cargo when it sank. Its country of origin is still unknown, as its cargo varied widely in nationality. The route of the ship is still under speculation as well. The wreck was excavated by archaeologists for 10 years, from 1984 to 1994. The head archaeologists on the excavation were George Bass and Semal Pulak. As an underwater site, certain challenges naturally came with the excavation. Underwater archaeology is an important branch of archaeology, and shipwrecks and other submerged sites of interest are studied and documented as thoroughly as a site on land would be. In this case, archaeologists used scuba gear and underwater equipment. Drawings of the site had to be done underwater, and artifacts had to be brought up to the surface when ready. The physical location of the wreck proved a challenge in this ex excavation. The remains of the ship rested roughly 45 meters beneath the surface on a steep rocky slope. Excavation time for each diver had to be limited to 20 minutes per dive, twice a day. The total number of dives to take place was 22,413. The dating of the wreck was done primarily through dendrochronology. Dendrochronology is a method of dating based on the analysis of growth rings of trees. The growth rings can tell us the age of when the trees were cut down or felled. This method is usable when there is wood involved. The wood used as the components to build the ship was dated to have been felled around 1400 BCE which can be used to deduce roughly when the ship was built. However, firewood found on board was also dated. This wood was felled around approximately 1318 BCE. This result proved that the ship had to have sunk sometime after, and probably close to this date. This dating means that the ship was built, sailed, and sank during the Bronze Age. The Bronze Age was the second period in Thompson's Three Age system, sandwiched between the Stone and Iron Ages. It lasted in Europe from approximately 2300 BCE to 700 BCE. The Bronze Age was characterized by a surge in the usage of metals. After the Stone Age, civilizations began to alloy metals. Bronze is an alloy of copper and tin, and is used and manufactured for many purposes due to its durability. Shipwrecks from the Bronze Age are not uncommon, but the Ulibarren is arguably one of the most important due to the large quantity and wide range of cargo found aboard. The Ulibarren was a 15 meter long vessel, and archaeologists believe it was able to hold up to 20 tons of cargo. The majority of the cargo on board was in the form of raw materials. The ship was carrying 345 copper ingots, weighing 10 tons in total when it sank. Ingots are, the, are masses of various raw materials that are intended to be melted down and used in other forms. The copper slabs, such as the ones found on the Ulibarren, are characterized as cowhide because of their distinct cowhide shape. Archaeologists also found at least 40 tin ingots on site. Some ingots are not as intact as others. The collection from the Ulibarren comprises the single largest assembly of Bronze Age copper and tin ingots discovered to this day. Among the metal ingots, there were also glass ingots aboard. The glass ingots on the site of the Ulibarren wreck are the earliest known ingots of glass ever to be found. The ingots range from turquoise to cobalt blue in color and are discoid in shape with about 5 inch diameters. Other materials found include ivory from elephant, elephants and hippopotamuses, Egyptian ebony, ostrich eggs, gold, and an entire ton of resin. In addition to raw materials, the ship also carried many finished goods. It's actually startling how much valuable cargo the ship was carrying, but as a merchant ship, it makes sense that the Ulibarren was full of expensive and tradable items. On site, archaeologists found Egyptian jewelry, faience and ivory vessels, a gold chalice, Cypriot bowls and pots, clay lamps and jugs, a bronze pin, and even a gold scarab with Queen Nefertiti's name inscribed on it. There were also weapons, likely meant for trading, food including almonds, figs, olives, and pomegranates, and possessions thought to have belonged to crew members. 
the archaeologists also found 24 anchors on site, likely meant to serve as balancing instruments. The Ulu Burn is regarded as one of the most important and dis exciting discoveries in the history of underwater archaeology. Its age and wealth of cargo make it a uniquely valuable find. Today, the, Bo the Bodrum Museum of Underwater Archaeology has an exhibit dedicated to this wreck. The Ula Burn is still being studied, conserved, and learned from to this day. To learn more about this case study, check out these websites.